So when I was a kid, I had one of those little tiny perception dancers that they used to make. They used to put them in a mold and pop out this little plastic kayak. And I had so many hours where I was sitting there looking at it and looking at the lines and trying to think about how it would work well and what it needed done. You know, it all started with the Green River, plain and simple. Uh, it's real close to Asheville. There's a lot of other rivers around here, but the Green River runs almost 300 days a year, if not more. Um, so we have this perfect training ground where we've got class four, class five. We've got a good segment that eventually made the perfect race course. Green Race has never had a limit on what you can and can't bring. So if you wanted to race a sea kayak and you thought you could win, or you thought you could make it, you're able to do so. Um, so that meant that the Green Race, the winners, were all paddling boats that were designed in the early to mid 1990s. This, there was always a scramble to find the right boat, boat the Prion Tornadoes, the Dagger Vortex, uh, stuff like that in the 10, 11 foot range was fast, but there was nothing new that really could even compare or could measure up to those boats in any way. Around 2005, the beginning of 2005, I started kind of planting the seed like, hey, you know, there's this need and we have a race where we could use a long boat. Not only that, it can go to these places where we're trying to do long distance runs. We can do multi days in a boat like this. So it fits the bill for a couple of aspects of kayaking, but really would work well for this race. I really went up to them and I was like, here's my proposal, here's what we need, we can make it happen. Um, in early 2006, the Dagger guys said, come on down, let's check it out. They even gave me an internship credit uh, when I was in school at UNC Asheville. Um, I worked on it as a class with Snowy, Mar uh, uh, Mark Robertson, the head designer down there and Snowy and I spent the next few months in preparation for the green race, just down there shaping, 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 shaping. And we came out with a boat that would be able to stand up to the tornadoes and the, all the longer boats that uh, were dominating it. If you weren't in a green boat in that year, it was really tough because the tornadoes are really good and the older boats are really good, but new technology blended in with a long, fast focus, really jump-started I think this aspect of the sport and for a couple years that was it, it was the green boat, green boat, green boat. Now it's presented itself into a whole new class and there, there's the Jackson kayak, there's the Stinger, there's um, a couple other long boats that are probably on the way. Some of them are more point and shoot, turn and go, but the green boat really sticks in my mind is I think the best because it carves from one edge to another in a way that um, you can really keep up your speed and you can control the boat by your angle and your edging. And uh, to be able to drive from one current into another without any sort of hesitation is just a way cool feeling. What's really cool is that it's kind of reinvented the downstream motion of kayaking. We can really um, get back into the or origins of the sport where we're just putting on and we're going nice and quick down to a certain point. So that combined with the racing, it's one heck of a fun boat to paddle. I love just going fast and um, shredding from one move to another.
Dreamboat's the original one. It started the, the, the trend coming back and um, I'm elated that I could be a part of the design and the development and uh, here we are and now we're in a whole new world of longboats. Winning. <laughs>